I'm here with Jay Moon, a Brooklyn-based artist in front of her mural, Call Me By Your Name. Jay, how did this project come to be? Uh, first of all, I would like to thank Wayne Rada, the founder of Risa Project. Uh, he gave me the opportunity to participate in the Stonewall 50 mural project in honor of World Pride. I joined 50 artists in making public art to celebrate the LGBTQIA community in New York City. And my mural uh, features the movie script for Call Me By Your Name, written in English Braille with toy bricks. Why did you choose the movie Call Me By Your Name for the mural? Oh, I saw this movie when it came out in 2017. Uh, it is a beautiful love story between two young people who both happen to be men. Uh, and I was especially inspired by the journey the characters took to find themselves throughout the storyline uh, which led them to each other. What inspired the visual style of this mural? Uh, this movie was filmed in Italy and the cinematography of the film was visually stunning. In my memory, it was a very poetic film and the landscape was flourishing. So when I created this mural, I tried to visualize the landscape of the movie and transform it onto my work. So as you see here, the tactile pieces that represent the braille are different texture and color from the background, so they can be easily distinguished. But when you stand back, the colors blend together, almost like a landscape. I also added my signature in rainbow colors to celebrate a world pride. Why did you decide to use braille for this mural? Uh, when I first came to New York City back in the 90s, I noticed Braille everywhere. So as, a, so as an artist, I was fascinated by the patterns the language created. Eventually, I taught myself how to read and write it. Uh, for this project, I wanted to use Braille to bring awareness to a language that is often overlooked by people who are not visually impaired. Uh, using Braille to write out the script for Call Me By Your Name also connects multiple communities in one public space. With Braille, I'm really making an intersectional uh, piece. Viewers may first be drawn to the piece by the colors, the pattern, and the novelty of toys, but what they really find in the code are lives that have historically been hidden. So uh, the bricks connect these experiences visually and literally. This part says, call me by your name and I will call you by mine in Braille. Why Lego? Oh, I have been working with the Lego for more than 20 years by now. I created sculptures, installation, and public art such as taggings. Uh, when I first came to America, I recognized that as an Asian woman, there were cultural barriers that kept me on the margins. So I was drawn by this material because the Lego system is based on um, numbers and is, usual, uh, and is universally understood. Toy bricks can create a shared cultural ba baseline regardless of culture and gender and religions. For this particular mural project, I used, I used the Soho Bricks, which is a similar brand to a uh, Lego. Oh, I have been tagging text throughout the city since 2011. It is always interesting for me to observe how these works have constantly changing over time by public interaction.